हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी विल गो फॉर द साइट इंस्टॉलेशन ऑफ आर टी पी फर्स्ट लेट अस सी द पुलिंग डिवाइस फॉर मोस्ट इंस्टॉलेशन ए सुटेबली पावर डिवाइस इज रिक्वायर टू पुल द पाइप ऑफ द शिपिंग स्पूल द पुलिंग डिवाइस मस्ट बी सिलेक्टेड टू प्रोवाइड सफिशियंट बट नॉट द एक्सेसिव पुलिंग फोर्स अंडर द प्रिवेलिंग कंडीशन टू एंश्योर दैट द पाइप इज नॉट डैमेज Pulling capacity should not exceed the recommended maximum tensile load of the RTP product being installed. The maximum recommended tensile load varies with different RTP design. In some situations, a load indicator may be used to ensure installation does not result in excessive tension on the line pipe. For some installation, a winch or wear line type of device with sufficient pulling capacity is required. If the maximum pulling capacity could exceed the recommended maximum tensile load of RTP being installed, the tensile load should be monitored on a load indicator to ensure that the maximum tensile is not exceeded. Where no load indicator is available, a tension limiting device such as calibrated shear loop must be used. You can see some photo of calibrated shear loop. You can read the details if you like. after stopping the slide a rtp service representative should be present to supervise the overall installation operation provide specific training to the local helpers and fit all the connectors it is recommended that a rtp service representative also be present during hydro testing crew size will be dependent on the specific installation and skill level of the workforce as well as industry practice but typically the rtp service representative will require a backhoe or similar equipment to pull the pipe and one additional helper to assist with handling operation in all operations crew sizes will be dictated by terrain and environmental condition now stationary spool will be two types surface installation and buried installation which is in the surface and it will be buried this will be this is the normal and preferred installation method for areas with soil that is not excessively rocky the spool and spooling frame serve as a anchor point the rtp is deployed by pulling it from the stationary spool for surface of buried lines a truck bucko or other piece of construction equipment is used to pull the pipe into the trench a calibrated shear loop is used to attach the end of the pipe to the equipment used to pull it in place the pulling device must be properly sized but not oversized for the product being installed caution since the rtp will be pulled from the stationary reel when using the installation method care should be taken to avoid dragging the pipe over anything that could cause the damage to the od of the pipe note that the pipe cannot be moved or when spooled on the right of way into the trench with a chain or straps proper coordination of the pipe and slack is required to shift the position of the pipe from surface to trench bottom without damaging the line pipe part of installation technique is moving spool this installation method is often used when the soil is excessively rocky or abrasive the other method surface installation was for the area which are not rocky it is first necessary to connect and anchor the pipe end connecting is accomplished using the appropriate joining system anchoring is accomplished by installing a thrust block or anchor post and clamping or otherwise securing the pipe in place the anchor must be strong enough to resist the load up to the recommended tensile load of the rtp being installed the method of installation reduces abrasion damage to the pipe it may involve moving a trailer with the spooling frame or spool and pipe mounted on it under of the road condition if the access is too limited for a large truck the pipe and spooling frame can be transferred to a trailer pulled by a pickup or tracked vehicle as a caution this method should only be carried out where the access for moving vehicle is flat and secure the pipe spool represents a top heavy load that could overturn the type of installation should be used only 
with experienced drivers and perform slowly with caution. An overturning load can result in injury to the personnel and damage the equipment and the RTP. Trenches must be prepared for accepting the pipe. Preparation involves ensuring the bottom is reasonably smooth and level. Bedding, if required, should be in place. RTP can be installed in a continuous length even where the trench is not straight. Bends should have as large a radius as possible. Preferably more than 1.5 times the minimum bend radius as specified on the pipe data sheet. For narrow trenches slightly wider than the pipe, the RTP can be deployed alongside and lowered into the trench manually after any necessary connections have been made or the trench can be widened at the areas where connections will be made. It is a good practice to allow some spacing between the multiple lines laid in the same trench. However, this is not a requirement and if construction conditions are not conductive to maintain a spacing between the lines, it is acceptable to lay the lines in the trench in contact with each other also. This only applies to the lines that are running parallel in the same trench. If two RTP line pipes are crossing over each other, then one feet spacing is required between two lines, unless a more strict regulatory requirement applies. Pipe may be inspected before testing or covering to ensure there are no sharp surfaces such as large rocks or contacts with other pipes. At pipe crossings, the RTP should be preferably passed under other pipes and good padding or sandbags should be placed between the two lines. Direct contact even after settlement can result in rapid wear even from minor movement that is field movement or vibration. In trenched installation, road or river crossings are handled in a manner similar to pull through installation. Surface installation. The technique for the surface installation are similar to those of trench installation but some special considerations should be given for pipe protection. Jacketed pipe will be used for surface installation for extra protection. The pipe should be installed and supported on smooth ground, not on pipe supports, as used in case of surface installation of steel pipes. Vehicles should not be driven over RTP, so crossing points may have to be provided. Since the pipe will not be restrained during hydro test, it can shrink in length during the test. Care should be taken to ensure that the pipe cannot move and tighten against pinch or kink points. RTP engineers can advise the amount of expected shrinkage and how to make provision for it. As a caution, it can be difficult to move the unrestrained pipe around planned bends in the right of way and pipe rollers and anchor points must be used to route the pipe. RTP field supervisors should be consulted in advance for advice on the route and equipment required if a surface installation is planned. So guys, that is a brief explanation of RTP pipe installation. Be with me. The next video will be the joining technique of RTP. Then we will proceed with the testing. Then also we will be discussing if there is any repair comes during the hydro test how we will do this or any repair comes due to the external damage during construction how we will be repairing it if you like my way of teaching please don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel please share with the friends who is looking for this type of knowledge signing off so many.